Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Faraday, on the basis of experimental calculations, gave two important laws, namely, the first law of electrolysis and the second law of electrolysis. Let's now discuss the first law of electrolysis. First law of electrolysis. It states that the mass of a substance deposited or liberated on an electrode during electrolysis is proportional to the total quantity of electric charge passing through the electrolyte. That is, M is directly proportional to Q, where M is the mass of the substance liberated or deposited on an electrode and Q is the total quantity of charge passing through the electrolyte. The mathematical representation of this law can be written as M is equal to ZQ, where Z is the constant of proportionality called the electrochemical equivalent of a substance ECE or M is equal to ZIT. Verification of first law of electrolysis. Take three copper voltmeters. Find the mass of the cathodes. Arrange the three voltmeters as shown here. Switch on the circuit. Click on the voltmeter to observe the deflection in the multimeter. What do you infer? We observe that the current passing through the voltmeter A divides equally at the junction and flows into the voltmeters B and C. Now switch off the circuit after 5 minutes. Remove the cathodes and find the mass of each cathode. What do you observe? The mass deposited on the cathode of the voltmeter A is twice the mass deposited on the cathodes of voltmeters B and C. That is, the mass deposited on each cathode is proportional to the amount of current passing through it. This verifies Faraday's first law of electrolysis.